Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for everyone who has stuck around. I know it's been quite a while since my last video, so apologies for that. Life's just been pretty crazy, I think, for everyone at the moment. Um, I have gained some new subscribers in that time, so I wasn't expecting that considering um, I've been gone, but thank you all and I've still been receiving lots of great comments and I really appreciate it. I've had so many ideas of videos that I want to post and film and I think I've been getting a little bit overwhelmed by what videos I do want to do so I thought it would be good to just start with maybe something smaller to get me back into it, get me back into filming rather than giving myself like the first video back a huge task, something that's gonna take ages to film, maybe take a lot of preparing and a lot of editing. So here we are, I was gifted to Gorgeous rings by this company here. I am not going to try and pronounce the name because I think I'm just gonna completely butcher it. Um, I've been like trying to practice it in my head and say it out loud and it never sounds right. So I'm just gonna feature it um, in this video and you can interpret how it sounds yourself. Um, of course the link and everything will also be in the description box below. So I'm just going to show you the rings that they sent me and then I will show you how I would style my hair to go with them and kind of go with this overall look as well. These rings are from one of their new collections called the Heart of Darkness collection. So as you can guess by that name, they're quite dark and gothic styled. I also just want to say really quickly that these items were gifted to me but I'm not being paid to say anything specific about them. So the opinions are completely my own. There will also be a discount code in the description box below. This is the box that I received in the mail. Um, there's the name of the company just on the front there. I'm just going to show you like what it looks like inside. Oh, the thing just fell out. So there's this little card um, just says a little bit about the company and how to care for the jewellery and then oh try not to let everything fall out this is kind of how everything's been packaged inside so it comes with a little jewellery polishing cloth as well um, they also include this which I thought was pretty cute it's a little um, keychain and it has an L on it which obviously my name is Louise so yeah that's why it's an L and then the rings themselves are in these little blue boxes packaged pretty cute so I haven't actually looked at these yet I thought it would be nicer to do this on camera Oh, this is really pretty. So, um, this is the first one. So in the middle there is a red love heart shaped stone and coming off the side of that are two kind of, I guess, bat wings. And right at the bottom there is a little tail coming out as well. I guess a little devil tail, very pretty. The second one they sent me is this one. This one is a lot darker. Again, in the middle, it has a red heart-shaped stone. And then around the edges, it's just got this beautiful kind of decorative style work with little black gems. And right at the bottom there, there's just a kind of teardrop-shaped red stone as well. These are the two rings together. So you can kind of get the idea of the theme of this collection. So those are the two gorgeous rings that were sent to me. Thank you for sending those over. And now I'm just going to show you how I would style my hair to kind of complete this look. So I'm going to be starting off with brushed out hair and I'm just gonna create a little section at the top here. And then I'm going to do the no hair tie bun method. I'm going to show you this the best that I can but if you want a more detailed tutorial I do have one on my page and I will put that in the cards above and also 
I will link it in the description below. Um, this could take a while wrapping the end of my hair around. Once I get to this stage, I'm going to just fluff this middle part out a little bit so that it creates a little bun like that. And you can secure this however you want. For now, I'm just going to be using a claw clip at the back here to just pinch that in place. And then I'm just going to repeat that process on the other side. I always find it really hard to get even on both sides as well. So basically trying to explain this quickly, you just want to take the back of your hand against the base of this section of hair and then you want to twist it round to create this little loop. Then wrap the rest of that hair around the base, which I have a lot of hair so this part takes a while. And then you take this loop and tuck it over and then pull apart that middle section just a bit. And then I'm going to use a claw clip just to scrunch that in place. And then you should have two kind of space buns on the top there. So yeah, I think this is how I would style my hair with this look. I just think this hairstyle honestly goes with everything. I think it's absolutely adorable. I think I think this one probably didn't turn out as good as this side, but you can just redo it. It does take a bit of practice. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'm really excited to be making videos again and my hair is significantly longer than the last video that I made. In my next video I'll definitely be doing a length update. I think my next video will probably be all about the capillary schedule that I was following which has really contributed to how much growth I have had these past few months. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that and more content from me. I am still very active on Instagram. I post there in my stories pretty much every single day and I've been doing three to four posts a week as well. So I will leave my Instagram handle in the description box below and I'll also probably put it somewhere on screen here. So definitely if you want to see more content from me more regularly, that's where I post most frequently. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.